Here are the six things we need to build a smart city for startups and inventors. Here's the six things that we need to build this smart city. The first is going to be land, of course. Without land, you're not going to have a place to build a smart city. The toughest part is deciding what state to start in, but over time, it could be nationwide. But the ideal situation would be about an hour or two hours outside of the city. The second is housing. So since it's self-funded, it makes a lot of sense to have affordable housing up front. And then as the economy grows in that smart city, build on top of that. Right now, there's some pretty cool alternative housing options, such as this. This is tenfold engineering. These guys would be the ideal suppliers. But if not, there's other options as well. That said, I think these ones look the most sleek. They're mobile. They're not bolted into the ground. Also helps if there's no land available that this can be packed up and moved. So if two residents want to team up and go halves apiece, not only is it affordable, but say they wanted to move out of the smart city, they at least have equity to leave with. They typically cost about 130000 per house. So this is what it would look like if two people went in on a property together. Then as the city grows, imagine a million in real estate. Here's a very conservative look on what that would look like. Say you did a million in real estate and you split it between eight people. They'd still have a pretty sizable amount of equity. And just starting with two houses and then scaling that up to four and so on and so on until it looks like this. See, that's the organic growth plan there. And there's 5G. Going to need internet if it's going to be a digital-based city. I had to chuckle at this one because I know this is going to be a little bit controversial. There's a lot of people that are against 5G, but I'm always open to hearing new suggestions. But the point is, we need fast internet. Transportation is also going to be very important. The biggest drawback is obviously living in a rural area and being outside the city and all the amenities that come with the city. I could see electric scooters being a very useful way to get around. But nothing's perfect, so might as well start with local transportation. And then eventually, hopefully an aerial presence as well. That helped cut down the distance between the rural areas and the cities. You may have heard about the air taxi concept. Pretty cool stuff. Could be a great way to get back into the city and then back to the smart city in a really quick amount of time. We might be able to work out a deal with one of these companies as well since they need landing spots. There's also a shortage of pilots, but who knows, maybe new technology will automate that. But especially when it comes to enterprise deals, you got to be close to the city since there's probably going to be quite a bit of travel. Plus, you don't want anybody going crazy in the smart city. My favorite is the education system. So it's no secret that on this channel, I talk a lot about the academy and producing the best talent in the digital space. This smart city is dependent on the talent in the city, so having a strong training, development, and education program is a must. With such low overhead and operating costs, it shouldn't be too hard to reinvest that back into getting a top-tier training program developed. It's its own ecosystem. That's going to be crucial. Because that'd likely be the last step you had to take to achieve independence. So maybe it's time for cryptocurrency to become more mainstream. Who knows? We shall see. Those are just the basic building blocks. So what would you add to the city? Send me an email with your thoughts with the address down below. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe below.